Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm going to talk about AI rendering using Blender and Stable Diffusion. So really cool stuff, really quick demo. Uh, so take a look at what we got going on here. So if I go to this, um, the Blender Marketplace, and you can see here, AI Render Stable Diffusion in Blender. I'm gonna put a link to this at the bottom of the page. So if you need to uh, jump in and, and grab this plugin or this add-on, um, you'll be able to find it. So you can see that it is a free add-on, but you can also uh, support future development by um, putting a donation in. But so what you would do is go ahead and uh, hit purchase, you would download it, and then um, once you have that, you're gonna head over to Blender, okay? And you're not gonna unzip the file, you're just gonna leave it as exactly as it comes. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to Edit, Preferences, and then you wanna head over to Add-ons, and then I'm gonna type in Stable Diffusion, okay? And you can see that mine's already checked, it's turned on, so if you just installed it, and by the way, to install it, you'd click on Install here, go find it, and then it's gonna show up here, and you wanna make sure that it's checked. Then you're going to open up this arrow here and you're going to see a bunch of stuff and you're going to have to click sign up for dream studio so if i click on that it's going to take me to this page right here and um, you're going to have to sign up for a dream studio account okay now this is also free to sign up but i should mention that it's going to give you credits i think it starts with like 25 credits and i can see that 10 credits are about 53 images. So this is gonna be connected to our um, Blender, okay? So every time we do a render, it's going to be kind of like detracting credits. Now it's not one credit per image. You can see it's like, I don't know, roughly five images per credit. I'm not exactly sure how they're doing it, but I feel like, um, so I don't want you to just kind of like render nonchalantly not realizing that you're kind of taken away because if once you are done with it you'd have to buy credits okay but again enough that you can just kind of try it out so i'm going to just leave that on the other monitor and um yeah let's go ahead and get started so again i'm in blender i've got my stable diffusion plugin activated and if i head over here if i go to this top one here the render settings i can see ai render right here uh, it should be there. You can see that I can click on Enable AI Render. And if I do that, there's going to be a tab up here. So if I click on Enable AI Render, I can see that there's a new tab right here. Okay. Um, I'm also going to put my image size to 512. When I do that, it's going to change the camera size. And if I press 0 on the number pad, it's going to lock in like this. I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to hit View. And I'm going to say Lock camera to view. Now that means that I can move this around and I'm in the camera. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so what the heck does it mean to do AI rendering in Blender? Well, basically what it means is that we can, um, we're going to be able to generate an image using a prompt, but I feel like we're using Blender to kind of like stage it. Okay, so for example, what the heck do I mean? Well, I'm just going to delete that cube and shift A. I'm going to go ahead and shift A and create um, maybe a sphere. Okay, and I'm going to create maybe like um, some pumpkins. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do like this. And I'm not going to model these pumpkins um, very much. I'm just going to kind of go like that, maybe shift A maybe a cylinder, and I probably wouldn't even have to do as much detail as I'm doing right now, but you'll get the idea in, in a second here. So the more that you can kind of like help it and say, hey, this is what the shape is, um, the stable diffusion is gonna have a good idea of kind of what you want, and then um, it'll generate an image based off of that. So again, there's my pumpkin. I'll just, I could make this pumpkin orange, so if I could head over here, um, or I'm sorry, here, I'm just going to go to new and I'm going to call this orange. Okay. And to see it, I'll go here. Oh, that is, that's a sunburnt pumpkin. There we go. And now if I'll come here, 
There we go. Now I could take all of this and um, maybe control C, control V, G to grab it, and and then control C, control G, or control C, control V, and then G to grab. Okay, cool. And then I'll just go ahead and kind of move this over here. And um, I might say, well, Dave, that looks kind of cheesy. These pumpkins, what the heck are you doing? Um, I want awesome looking pumpkins. And again, that's where AI is going to come in. So I'm just gonna kind of go like that. And so instead of me trying to describe like how I want the staging, what I'm doing is I'm like just kind of setting it up. So in other words, instead of saying three pumpkins in the foreground, maybe I want a moon back here. So maybe I'll go like this, a cylinder. And again, the more that I can kind of help it out to, um, again, kind of guess what I want it to be. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. And I, again, you can see kind of that shot right there. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to um, go ahead and get this party started here. So I've got my kind of my scene set up. Now let's head over here. And if I go here, I'm gonna go down to AI render. And this is where I can put my prompt in. Okay, so you can see it's describe anything you can imagine. Um, so I'm gonna say, you know, pumpkin. Um, pumpkins uh, sitting in a field um, with the uh, with a full moon um, in the night sky. Okay, cool. Now, you can see that they have negative prompts. So in other words, that would be what you don't want it to be. Okay, and you can see they pre-populated it. Now this gets kind of interesting. I can apply a preset style. So if I click on this, you can see that they have a lot of different styles here. So instead of saying in a, you know, in an abstract um, style, or in this type of style, or in a realistic style, or in an illustrative style, um, so if I click on this one, for example, I can see that they said uh, dark fantasy art by Dan Munford. Okay, so instead of me adding that to this text, it's automatically adding that to the text. So it's not really has, it doesn't really have anything to do with this image. It's that that image was um, created from this prompt. So I feel like now that style is going to be applied to this. Okay, and I'm gonna open up advanced options and maybe we'll get into that, but I feel like I think we've got enough to go. So I'm gonna to go to AI render here. And, um, oh, and by the way, I should mention that image size. So if I go to change image size, I can see that I'm doing 512 by 512. This kind of takes a lot of processing power and kind of thinking, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it at a smaller image for now, okay? You'll notice that AI render uh, scene here. I'm gonna to go to render render image. Now what it's going to do, it's going to render and I can see that the percentage of rendering is happening down here. And at the end of the result, it's going to produce uh, the AI render right here. So if I zoom out, hey, take a look at that. Okay, really cool stuff here. Um, maybe I want to change it to a grassy field. Okay, sitting in a grassy field um, with a full moon um, lighting lighting the scene from behind. The full moon lighting the scene from behind. Okay, and now um, maybe I want to um, save that image. Well, here, let me, let me just go ahead and render again. So if I go to render, render image, let's see what it looks like. And again, what's gonna happen is that every time that you hit render, it's automatically going to be um, starting to deduct credits on your site. 
But you'll notice that, hey, there's only two pumpkins here. Um, it's not as tight as the other one. Well, what, what I can do here is if I go into the advanced options, I can say image similarity. Let me bump that up to like 0.5. Prompt strength, I'll bump up to 21. And now let, let's see what happens here. So if I render, render image. So you can see that you can kind of play with how tight you want it to be to your framing of your shot. And you can see here that that's pretty much where I have those placed and it's, and it's pretty tight. Okay, prompt strength, let's lower that. And I'll go ahead and render again. And again, I could try some different preset styles and just kind of have some fun with it. Um, yeah, and that's looking more like, you know, kind of what I'm thinking. Um, let's see what happens if I go back here. And, and what if I give this a dark green? Okay, so let's see what that does. So if I come in here and go into this. Okay, that looks more like kind of what I want. And again, I'll come in here and let's go ahead and render it out one more time. All right, so now I feel like we're really starting to get there. Um, and again, there's so much that you can do with this. I feel like if you're concepting, I feel like when they say that an image is worth a thousand words, I feel like that's really interesting because I feel like what we're doing in AI is we're prompting with words. But again, instead of me trying to describe this layout here, I'm just setting up my layout in 3D. And I feel like um, the AI is smart enough to understand that, hey, these are pumpkins, this is the moon, this is the field. Um, if you wanted a scarecrow or something, you could just put like probably a cube right here and maybe color it black. And you could say like pumpkins in a field with a scarecrow and the moon in the distance. Um, so you're not really modeling. Um, you're just staging the shot uh, to help direct the render. Now, this is not producing like real geometry. It's not changing anything as far as three-dimensionally is concerned. It's just a, essentially a way to help guide um, your AI images. So again, I know there's a lot of controversy around AI. Um, I think some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, some people don't know what to think about it. But I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Uh, so go ahead and leave your comments in the um, below and let me know what you think. Um, does this look like it's a weird concept? Do you see yourself using this? Um, or do you find this um, kind of, do you hope different laws are created to stop this? I mean, just anything, whatever you think about AI. So let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks in the future.